It is often said that people's attention span is short. Hence, the need to grab it cannot be overemphasized. Can I grab your attention? <laughs> Hello and welcome to GTZone Trading Channel. Here I share tips and tricks on how to trade forex and synthetic indices like a pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trade Fibonacci retracement, one of the most powerful and popular tools among technical traders. But before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. So, what are Fibonacci retracements and why are they so useful? Well, Fibonacci retracements are based on the Fibonacci sequence, a series of numbers that starts with 0 and 1. And each subsequent number is the sum of the previous two, like you see on the screen. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. Notice how the next number is the sum of the previous two? The Fibonacci sequence was discovered by an Italian mathematician named Leonardo Fibonacci in the 13th century. And he noticed that these numbers have a special property. They are related to the golden ratio, which is approximately 1.618. The golden ratio is known to mathematically capture precise beauty and proportionality in nature and art. For example, the golden ratio can be found in a spiral of a seashell, the petals of a flower, the shape of a galaxy, and even the human face. But what does this have to do with trading? Well, it turns out that the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio can also be applied to the price movement of stocks, currencies, and other assets. By dividing any number in a Fibonacci sequence by the next one, you get a ratio that is close to 0.618 or the inverse of the golden ratio. For example, 8 divided by 13 is 0.615 and 13 divided by 21 is 0 0.619. And by dividing any number in a Fibonacci sequence by the one that is two places higher, you get a ratio that is close to 0 0.382, which is another important Fibonacci ratio. For example, 8 divided by 21 is 0 0.381, and 13 divided by 34 is 0 0.382. These ratios 0 0.618 and 0 0.382 are also known as the Fibonacci retracement levels and they represent the percentage of the previous price movement that is likely to be retraced before the price resumes its original direction. In other words, they indicate the potential areas of support and resistance in the market where the price may bounce or reverse. There are also other Fibonacci retracement levels that are commonly used by traders such as 0 0.23 Cs, 0 0.5 and 0 0.78 Cs. These are derived by multiplying or dividing the golden ratio by itself or by using other numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. For example, 0 0.78 Cs is the square root of 0 0.681. So, how do you use the Fibonacci retracement tool on a charting software such as TradingView? It is very simple. All you need to do is connect two relevant price points such as a high and a low and draw horizontal lines at the key ratio levels. For example, if you want to measure the retracement of an uptrend, you can connect the lowest low to the highest high and the software will automatically plot the Fibonacci retracement levels for you. In same vein, if you want to measure the retracement of a downtrend, you can connect the highest high to the lowest low and the software will automatically plot 
the Fibonacci retracement levels for you. Here is an example of a chart with the Fibonacci retracement tool applies to an uptrend. As you can see, the price retraced to the 0.618 level, which acted as a support and then resumed its upward movement. This means that the buyers were stronger than the sellers at this level and they pushed the price higher. And here is an example of a chart with the Fibonacci retracement tool applied to a downtrend. As you can see, the price retraced to the 0.382 level, which acted as a resistance and then resumed its downward movement. This means that the sellers were stronger than the buyers at this level and they pushed the price lower. Now that you know how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool, let me show you some examples of different trading strategies that use Fibonacci retracement and the advantages and disadvantages of each one. The first strategy is the trend following strategy, which is based on the assumption that the price will continue in the same direction as the prevailing trend. In this strategy, you look for a retracement in the direction of the trend and enter the trade when the price bounces off a Fibonacci retracement level. You can use a stop loss below the previous low for an uptrend or above the previous high for a downtrend and a take profit at the next Fibonacci extension level which is calculated by adding or subtracting the Fibonacci ratios from the previous high or low. Here is an example of a trend following strategy using Fibonacci retracement. As you can see, the price was in an uptrend and it retraced to the 0.618 level where it bounced and continued its upward movement. You could have entered a long trade at this level with a stop loss below the previous low or below the entry and take profit at the top. The advantage of this strategy is that it allows you to capture the continuation of the trend and potentially make a large profit if the price reaches the top. The disadvantage of this strategy is that it requires a strong trend and it may not work well in a ranging or a shabby market. The second strategy is the breakout strategy which is based on the assumption that the price will break out of a consolidation or a correction and resume its original direction. In this strategy, you look for a retracement that forms a consolidation or a correction pattern such as a triangle, a flag or a wedge and enter the trade when the price breaks out of the pattern. You can use a stop loss below the breakout point and a take profit at the next Fibonacci extension level or at the length of the pattern projected from the breakout point. Here is an example of a breakout strategy using Fibonacci retracement. As you can see, the price was in an uptrend and it retraced to the 0.382 level where it formed a flag or a range pattern. You could have entered a long trade when the price broke above the range with a stop loss below the range breaking point and a take profit at the top or the next station level. The advantage of this strategy is that it allows you to catch the momentum of the breakout and potentially make a large profit if the price reaches the top or the next extension level. The disadvantage of this strategy is that it requires a clear consolidation or a correction pattern and it may not work well in a volatile or a noisy market. The third strategy is a bounce strategy which is based on the assumption that a price will bounce between two Fibonacci retracement levels and form a range. In this strategy, you look for a retracement that forms a range and enter the trade when the price bounces off a Fibonacci retracement level. You can use a stop loss below the previous low for a long trade or above the previous high for a short trade and a take profit at the opposite Fibonacci retracement level or at the middle of the range.
Here is an example of a bounce strategy using Fibonacci retracement. As you can see, the price was in a range and it bounced between the zero and the 0 0.618 levels. You could have entered a long trade when the price bounced off the 0 0.618 level with a stop loss below it and a take profit at the top level or at the middle of the range and you could have entered a short trade when the price bounced off the zero level with a stop loss above it and a take profit at the 0 0.618 level or at the middle of the range. The advantage of this strategy is that it allows you to profit from the fluctuations of the price within the range and potentially make multiple trades in a short period of time. The disadvantage of this strategy is that it requires a stable range and it may not work well in a trending or a breakout market. The fourth strategy is the reversal strategy which is based on the assumption that the price will reverse its direction at a Fibonacci retracement level and form a new trend. In this strategy, you look for a retracement that forms a reversal pattern, such as a double top, a double bottom, head and shoulders, an inverse head and shoulders, a range, a bearish or a bullish engulfing pattern, and enter the trade when the price breaks the neckline of the pattern. You can use a stop loss above the neckline for a short trade or below the neckline for a long trade and take profit at the next Fibonacci retracement level or at the length of the pattern projected from the neckline. Here is an example of a reversal strategy using Fibonacci retracement. As you can see, the price was in a downtrend and it retraced to the 0 0.618 level where it formed a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. You could have entered the long trade when the price broke above the pattern on the neckline with a stop loss below the pattern and a take profit at the level 1 or above it. The advantage of this strategy is that it allows you to cash the beginning of a new trend and potentially make a large profit if the price reaches the retracement level or the projected target. The disadvantage of this strategy is that it requires a clear reversal pattern and it may not work well in a strong or a persistent trend. So, these are some of the trading strategies that use Fibonacci retracement and how you can apply them to your own trading. Of course, there are many variations and combinations of these strategies and you can experiment and find what works best for you. But before you do that, let me give you some tips and best practices on how to use Fibonacci retracement effectively and avoid some common pitfalls and mistakes. The first tip is to combine Fibonacci retracement with other technical analysis tools such as trend lines, moving averages, candlestick patterns, volume indicators, and oscillators. This can help you confirm the signals, filter out the noise, and increase the probability of success. For example, you can use a trend line to identify the direction and strength of the trend, a moving average to gauge the momentum and support or resistance, a candlestick pattern to spot the reversal or continuation, volume to measure the interest and pressure, and an indicator or an oscillator to assess the overbought or oversold conditions. The second tip is to use multiple time frames and look for confluence and alignment of the Fibonacci retracement levels across different time zones. This can help you identify the most significant and reliable levels and avoid being distracted by the minor and irrelevant ones. For example, you can use a longer time frame such as a daily or a weekly chart to determine the major trend and the key Fibonacci retracement levels and then use a shorter time frame such as a 4 hour or a 1 hour chart to fine tune your entry and exit points using a second Fibonacci tool. The third tip is to be flexible and adaptable and not to rely on the Fibonacci retracement levels blindly or rigidly. Remember, 
that the Fibonacci retracement levels are not exact or fixed, but rather approximate and dynamic. They are not magic numbers that guarantee sources, but rather guidelines that suggest possibilities. The price may not always reach or respect the Fibonacci retracement levels, and it may overshoot or undershoot them. Therefore, you should always use your own judgment and analysis and be ready to adjust and adapt to the changing market conditions. The fourth tip is to manage your risk and reward and not to be greedy or fearful. Fibonacci retracement can help you identify the potential entry and exit point, but they cannot tell you how much to risk or how much to gain. You should always use a proper risk reward ratio and set your stop loss and take profit levels according to your trading plan and strategy. You should also be disciplined and consistent and not let your emotions interfere with your trading decisions. So, these are some of the tips and best practices on how to use Fibonacci retracement effectively. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.